what's up y'all i'm having a moment i feel anxiety rising i feel my chest tightening and i am about to do some wellness techniques to combat the anxiety and i figured how about i just turn on my camera and share with you all what i do so that in case you are also having anxiety you have some tools to help you so the first thing i'm going to do is what's called equal breathing inhale four exhale four inhale four exhale four inhale four exhale four so you could do it with me Next, I'm gonna do the question exercise where I ask my question. Next, I'm gonna do the question exercise where I ask myself questions to get at the root of what is making me anxious. I'm gonna start with the question, who am I trying to be? Who am I trying to be? Perfect. Why are you trying to be perfect? because I was raised to think that's how I need to be. Why were you raised to think that's how you need to be? Because my parents are immigrants and dealt with racism when they came to this country. Why did they deal with racism when they came to this country? Because that is the history of America. Why is that the history of America? Because that's how this country was founded. I'm gonna go back to that first question. Who are you trying to be? An image that is not mine. Why are you trying to be an image that is not yours? Because for a second, I thought I was inadequate. Why did you think you were inadequate? Because it's my first day back at work after a long winter break. Okay, <laughs> so I was anxious because it's my first day back at work. All right, I'm gonna breathe again. We're gonna do box breathing. Inhale four, hold your breath for four. Exhale four, hold your breath for four. We're gonna do that three times. feel myself coming down. Next, I'm gonna ask myself who I am. And what I'm about to say is my I am statement that I developed with a life coach. If you don't have an I am statement, you could use adjectives to describe who you are. Who am I? I'm divinely connected to all there is with the power to shift my energy to embody all that I am. I am love, power, resilience, compassion, beauty, intelligence, and vulnerability, ever evolving with infinite possibilities. Next, I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually in my body. So I'm sitting in a chair. I'm gonna make sure that my feet are flat on the floor, that my big toes are facing forward. I'm also gonna check my shoulders, make sure that they're not up toward my ears, so putting my shoulder blades together and down. My elbows are touching my midsection. My hands are up and on my thighs. 
I'm just going to notice if my body is balanced. If there's any imbalance in my body, I'm going to address it. So I notice that this shoulder is lower than this one. So what I'm going to do is raise the shoulder slowly toward my ear. until I feel my neck muscles tighten a little bit, and that's to activate the muscle that's causing me shoulder tension. And I'm gonna slowly put that shoulder back down. All right, y'all see that this one is lower now, so I gotta do the same thing on the right. Lifting slowly. Then I feel my neck muscle activate and I feel my shoulder blades activate too. This is the tension of the anxiety in my body that I'm letting go of. I'm gonna shake out my wrists. Y'all hear all that popping? <laughs> That's the anxiety. Y'all hear that? Ooh. See how stress and anxiety will go into our bodies. We got to release it. <sighs> Shaking my face. <sighs> Put my head side to side. These are Kundalini yoga stretches, by the way. Also, I'm doing my head back and forth. See my shoulders drop more. I'm making sure I'm breathing and then I'm going to do a head rotation or neck rotation rather first clockwise slowly making sure I'm breathing switch directions to go counterclockwise. Making sure I'm not raising my shoulders again. Bring my head back up slowly. Excuse me. <laughs> Sometimes when that tension comes out, it comes out as belching, but that's good. That's the anxiety coming out. I'm also stretching my wrists and my hands. So it's making sure that I'm not holding any tension. I hold a lot of tension in my fingers. So just stretching out my fingers, going to this side, widening my hands like this and tightening or widening, closing, widening, closing. Lifting my shoulders up and down. <laughs> I also learned from my Kundalini yoga class, the silent scream. So you can do it with me. You can shake out your hands and do like, I'll show you. And lastly, I'm going to read a scripture about anxiety. I'm not an active church goer. I do consider myself a Christian, but even if you are not a Christian or religious, I think this scripture might still help. So I'm going to read it to you. This is Philippians 6 through 7, the New King James Version. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests, <laughs> I can't talk y'all because of the anxiety. All right, already I'm coming down though because I'm laughing. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And then I'm gonna repeat a mantra that always brings me back centered. I'm going to say it three times and the words are, I am well, I am safe, I am loved, I am protected. 
You can repeat it with me if you'd like. I am well. I am safe. I am loved. I am protected. I'm going to hug myself while I do it the last two times. I am well. I am safe. I am loved. I am protected. I am well. I am safe. I am loved. I am protected. And if you are somebody who struggles with anxiety, I'm going to tell you, and I'm telling myself right now, recognize that you are doing your best. Your best looks different every day. So even though your best right now does not look how you think it should look, it is still your best. Also recognize that it's okay to do things poorly because at least you're getting it done. And if that is your best, if poorly is your best, then that's okay. Recognize that nothing and no one is more important than your wellness. I'm say it again for those in the back. Nothing or no one is more important than your wellness. And lastly, recognize that God and your ancestors are with you. They hear you. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. I feel better. <laughs> I hope that you do too. If any of this helped you, please let me know in the comments. And if it helped you, it would also help me <laughs> if you click like and subscribe so you can see more content like this. I hope everybody is doing well. Be anxious for nothing, y'all. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's just a season. I'm telling myself that too. It is just a season. It is just a season. It is just a season. Much love, y'all. Take care. Bye.